really, really tired, tired of the excuses. Major, we major, now let's go stupid. Something a hole in the stage that puff us, so go through it. How you gon' say you are just like us, but cannot do this? Two when the players in your whole team, they are so useless, they useless. It's a major, it's a major, 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 major. This episode is dedicated to the beautiful blessing that is time and space and the ability to trust yourself and trust that disconnecting from the world doesn't mean that you're disconnecting. It quite possibly means that you're connecting more with yourself and your spirit and you're showing yourself your value, yeah. This episode is about going on airplane mode for a second and what that can mean in regards to clarity and connection. Don't fear the disconnect from the world. Fear the disconnect from yourself. It's a major mood. It's a major, it's a major, 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 major. What's going on, everyone? Uh, G major here. And I think if all goes well today, um, we're back with episode six of the Major Mood podcast. You know, I've been gone for about over a month now with these podcasts and... Just now, when when I came on to do this one, it got me thinking. So when I sit down to do this podcast, I, I've mentioned before, I just I recorded on voice memo. Um, and in doing so, I, I have to use my phone to record. And I have to put my phone on airplane mode because what, what would what would happen if I didn't put my phone on airplane mode? I would get interruptions, probably a text message, a call maybe even an email that would throw me off. And um, similar to how I put my phone on airplane mode to be mindful and record this podcast, um, sometimes you have to put life on airplane mode too, um, in a much more general sense. So this past month I went through a lot of changes. Uh, New people moved into my house. Uh, my living situation changed, friendships changed, I created a lot of space for myself, and of course there were times where I thought, wow, you're not recording the podcast, like, are you working hard enough, are, are you trying hard enough, are you, are you losing your consistency, um, but no, I, I actually just needed to go into airplane mode for a second and shut all the things out that I was holding on to as, you know, my security blanket and allow myself to go through the changes with ease and with grace. Um, I, I really, I can't really explain in depth all the changes I've went through in the past month, um, only because it would be in a sense reliving them to delve into that type of personal business. Uh, But, and if I want to be real, it's been two months, you know. Um, I got some really telling news at the beginning of December. And when you're a hard worker and you're a motivated person, sometimes you get a wrench thrown in your plan or you get some information or... You get something that just kind of throws you off completely. And at first, you I mean, I'll speak for myself. You I tried to fight it, right? So I got the information. It was a shock to my body. And I was like, well, I'm on a roll right now. I'm recording podcasts. I'm working on my business. I'm, I'm doing everything in my power to stay on track. Um, so I cannot let 
this kind of shocking news um, alter my plan. So, you know me, I I powered through it. (laughs) I, um, I think I even, I definitely, I think I recorded a few podcasts after it, but I didn't allow myself to fully feel it, you know? And thankfully, I've got to a place in my life where I'm in tune with my body and I realized, you know what? I'm going to have to accept that I'm human at one point and let these, let the emotions run through me and run through my body and ingest them and digest them. <laughs> and now I'm here. I, 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 actually, I actually looked at my situation from a logical standpoint and I said, you are going through something right now. It doesn't have to be this major thing that changes your entire life or something that you're not going to get through. But at least acknowledge that you're going through something or you're not or you're not allowing yourself to be human. And you know, a lot of times when we say to ourselves we're going through something, uh we feel this sort of like shame as if like like, you know, it means that we can't we can't be in our best light or walk in our best light because we're dealing with something difficult. And actually, it's the opposite. It's that by acknowledging that you're going through something difficult, you are walking in your best light. You're walking in your most authentic light. You're walking in your most truthful light. And because I gave myself that grace, I feel like I'm on the other side of it. Like, 60 days later, you know, I feel like I'm coming out the other end. But what I had to do was instead of trying to live as if something didn't affect me or didn't happen or um, deny the reality of something hurtful is I accepted that this is a difficult thing for anyone to go through. And I'm not the only one that's gone through it. Betrayal, um, finding out that people close to you aren't really there for you, which there were a million signs anyways. So I have to, again, take accountability for myself. But realizing that my body's adjusting, my adjusting, my mind is adjusting, my living situation is adjusting. And again, bringing this back around to if I need peace maybe I need to go on airplane mode for a second. And I did. I went on airplane mode. And just like I have to put my phone on airplane mode so I don't get disturbed during this moment of self-reflection and mindfulness, I went on physical airplane mode for the past couple months, um, took time to myself, let my living situation realign, um, didn't really hang out with people too much. I'm not, these days I'm not hanging out with too many people anyways. I'm really working hard on myself and my business. Um, and even last week I had the pleasure of going home to Massachusetts. Uh, that's where my family's from for over a week. And, you know, in my head I was like, wow, am I going to be able to get work done while I go visit my family? And guess what? Instead of meeting up with friends while I was in Massachusetts, I didn't tell anyone I was home. I stayed on airplane mode, right? (laughs) And I got so much work done. I got so much work done at my family's house because I just used that time to spend time with family, not hit up my friends back home and go out drinking and partying, even though next time I go home, I'm definitely going to make a couple pit stops uh, to see my day ones. I'm very excited about that. But... I think in this day and age where we're so connected, there's a fear of going on airplane mode and connecting with yourself when in reality, connecting with yourself and showing yourself the love and respect to say, I need me right now, is what gets you through these moments of turbulence quicker and more at ease. And uh, I'm chilling right now, like... 
I did so much in these past couple of months going on airplane mode. Like I, I only spoke to like a very select few people who lift up my spirit. Um, I made a lot of progress with like kind of pricing out um, my, my business and how much things are going to cost. And I have a more clarity on um, my website that I'm going to, you know, be developing and building. Um, I thankfully from going on airplane mode and cutting out extra energy, I got an amazing, amazing new client that I feel like, oh, just, I, I can't, I can't even believe that these people uh, walked into my life. But then again, I can because I've been kind to myself. And, you know, in the past, when I've hit turbulent situations or situations that seem like a setback, I would live in them for so long because I wouldn't let my body calm itself down. But I'm advising anyone who might be going through something right now, even if it's, if it's not an acute situation like mine, you know, I mean, there's acute, acute situations that come on at very quickly that you have to deal with. And then, you know, there's lifelong situations that we're constantly dealing with. Um, but we're more used to those. So whether you're dealing with um, something that you've been trying to get overcome for a really long time or something that's more acute, like some really messed up news, <laughs> like I got back in December, um, I I just want to give, you know, everyone my insight on the blessing that is going on airplane mode for a second and realigning yourself. Um, and yeah, I don't think this this episode needs to go on much longer. This is just a quick reminder that in the days of uh, such immediate and drastic connection with the world and everyone else, it's important to have that same level of connection and to show the universe um, that you value that same level of connection with yourself. And if a month or two months or three months or a day, something in, in a much smaller, you know, some, something not as long or drastic to yourself, taking that time to yourself really just sends a message to the universe that, I love myself. I believe in my own energy. Um, I believe in what I can give myself. I believe that I can nourish myself. And that, um, that I appreciate time and space. And I understand the importance that when I don't have full clarity giving myself extra time and space to again ingest and digest information will only lead to a more peaceful existence. So truly, I advise us all to give ourselves love and grace to experience things and take them in and really digest the things that we are ingesting and to treat every experience, whether bad or good, with enough respect to just acknowledge its, its existence. And if you're going through something, say it. Say it out loud. I'm going through something right now and I'm going to be kind to myself and I'm going to sit on it and I am going to move with ease. I'm not going to let the anxiety from what I'm going through drive me. Nothing in life that's beautiful should ever be forced or coerced. Um, I heard that recently and I believe it because this is the first time in my life that I've dealt with some really... I'll just keep saying the word shocking news and I still I it didn't take me out of flow. It I moved through it with ease. 
And like I said, I'm chilling. It's a major mood, baby. Let's go. I love y'all. Have a blessed day.